Okay, to get started in layout, uh, what I'm going to recommend for our class is that you go to the groups folders for SketchUp. And what I've created in the handout folder is a WA template. So I'm going to double click and open the WA template. And I'll maximize this. And now what's on the screen here is a, a template that's, that's great for all of our uh, orthographic views we're about to be creating and, and bringing into uh, this layout document. Uh, to first get started, we're going to start by inserting the document that we just created, which in this case it was number 20, and I have it saved. Uh, and the first thing that will show up is the last view or the, the way in which it was set up when the document was saved. And in this case, this is the right side view, and I'm really not interested in the right side view yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on my view and go to my scenes. And I'm going to drop my isometric view in here first. Uh, what I can now do with this view and this, this little window that I've created, it's a, a window into that SketchUp work that I've completed, is I'm going to open the SketchUp model window. And in this window... I can uh, change some of the, the settings and the styles associated with this. If I'm going to print this on a piece of paper, I don't want all this extra shading to be printed out and burning up toner. So in this case, I'm going to go to Styles. And if you don't see all the styles that I currently have here, you've got to go to Default Styles. Uh, we'll give you this list of options. And the third one over is just black lines on white, white paper. Uh, and I can also go to the view in that same SketchUp model window, the second tab here, and also change the size or the scale of the SketchUp three-dimensional full-size drawing and prepare it to be printed, on this case, an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So you've got all kinds of scale options depending on the size of that uh, original 3D model that you've created. In this case, I'm going to go half size. So I'm going to click the half size option. Uh, if you do not have this, you can create one under custom. Uh, half is not a default uh, scale factor, uh, but it works well for our documents. So you can go down to custom and create a half size uh, scale factor and apply it if you do not have it already. I'm just going to leave this in the upper right hand corner. Um, if I grab this document now, I can clean up and, and, and scale down how much border space I have. Uh, if you leave these borders too large, uh, you end up clicking in a window that you really don't care to be working in at that given time. So what I like to do is keep these nice and small. And what I'm now doing is Command C and then Command V. The only problem about this Command V is the fact that it drops it directly on top of the view that you've created. So you can't really see it right away. In this case, I'm going to right click and change the scene to the top view. And now my top view is created. It also tries to maintain that scale factor that you've already applied and also the style that you've already applied by copying and pasting. You could insert uh, the window over and over again, but again, this is a little bit quicker way in which to do that. So Command C, Command V, and I'm going to drag this one straight down and right click, oops, right click on this view and go to scenes and create this as my front view for an orthographic and copy and paste again. Again, it's right on top, so if I move directly to the right, I can now edit my scenes to go to the right side. So, uh, for some reason, this shading showed up. Let me see here. Okay, just had to reapply that uh, style to this, this particular view. I'm not sure why that didn't carry over. Okay, and now you can start dealing with the spacing and the actual... Uh, the details with the four scenes that you've already created. Traditional orthographic, front, top, front, right side views. Uh, so again, the three views for traditional orthographic. I like throwing in a nice isometric in this extra white space to help us really relate to the document that we are creating. Um, in the next video, I'll be creating the proper spacing between these uh, orthographics. As we know, the scenes must be equally spaced uh, in order to create an accurate orthographic view.